Welcome back. Let's get right into things this morning. And things are pretty quiet. And Rylander, you can see some tire tracks on the road. So we do have some snow on the roadways over in parts of downtown Rylander this morning. This is on Brown Street, though, and some other areas like Park Falls, as you saw earlier, dealing with some snow on some of the roads as well. Road crews will be out soon to treat some of those roads if they're not out already. We do have winter weather advisories up. Vilas County up until 9 a.m. Friday morning. Winter storm warnings in Iron County until noon on Friday. Some of these warnings stretching in the parts of go get and Otsunagan counties as well. And here we are, Bayfield and Ashland County is also seeing some winter weather advisories as well. All this courtesy of lake effects snow that will be getting going later on tonight. But for now, though, we're pretty quiet. A few snow showers, some snow flurries. This is all synoptic related stuff. And what do I mean by that? That is all courtesy by an area of low pressure located right about here. It's rotating to the east for the most part, though. And once it tracks off towards the east, we'll get that counterclockwise flow, which will equal a northwest wind over Lake Superior, which is wide open right now. So we'll push this off toward the east, and that's going to equal some good snow opportunities across parts of the UP area where those where those advisories are currently up. Those temperatures right now are in the 20s. In the northwoods, we have 18 and 19 degrees between Phillips and Medford right now, 20 degrees over in the Marshfield area. Our average high being 38 degrees. Mid-20s is all we'll do today and tomorrow, so definitely cool. 18 degrees only for the high temperature on Saturday. That, this, all these temperatures here, at least up until Monday, we'll have to build some of those area lakes with some ice, and then, then we're going to be melting a little bit as we head towards Tuesday and your Wednesday with lower to middle 30s on the way, and those temperatures will be above freezing. Some gusty winds on the way today, generally out of the west at around 15 miles per hour. They'll get going later tonight out of the northwest at about 20 to 25 miles per hour, allowing that lake effect snow to get going closer to the areas of Lake Superior that could possibly make it down in the parts of Oneida County as well. So again, just general snow showers today, courtesy of the area of low pressure, half inch or less possible there. Tonight, the lake effect gets going though, across parts of Vilas County and areas closer to the lake, maybe reaching down to parts of Oneida County as well, not so much further down toward the south. But by Friday afternoon, all this starts to push off to the east as the winds change direction. So by Friday afternoon, things will begin to improve. As for how much snow, a half inch or less before we're all finished up, though. And this is at least two parts of the, of the daytime period, though. By tonight, we'll add a little bit more, maybe an inch or so across parts of the Oneida County area, with some areas seeing one to six inches between Vilas County and dramatically more further off towards the north and west. And yeah, there's that one to six inch potential across parts of Vilas County with the higher totals further off towards the north and west where you're closer to parts parts of Lake Superior. And yes, yeah, some areas in Iron and Gogibic counties. That is not a typo, though. This is what the model's thinking, though. Some areas possibly seeing up to a foot of snow, maybe a little bit more before we're all finished up. And that is the beauty of Lake Effect snow. Some areas could see a lot of snow in a short amount of time. Others, maybe not so much, just a short ways away. But snow showers today, a half inch or less, with highs in the mid-20s, and that west wind getting up to 15 miles per hour. And for its signs, snow, one inch or less, with higher values further off towards the north. We'll see lows in the lower 20s, that northwest wind getting up at 25 miles per hour. And that Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven-day forecast. So Friday morning, more snow showers possible, half inch or less possible there. More snow showers for the Gun Deer opener. On Saturday, highs only in the upper teens, half inch or less of snow there. Smaller chance for snow on Sunday. We're dry next week as temperatures start to warm up.